Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Are you guys ready to party? That's right everybody, welcome to Mario Party 9 board playthroughs. I know you guys have been waiting a very, very, very long time for me to say that, but do not fret, Mario Party board playthroughs is back with Mario Party 9. Let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. Welcome back! Did you know that dice blocks get bigger if you shake the Wii Remote before you hit them? Ooh, I did not know that. That's an interesting tip, I think. So yeah, here we are at the main menu. We have party mode, minigame mode, solo mode, museum, and extras. Uh, naturally, we're going to start with party mode, and this is where we're going to be spending the majority of this playthrough at. Going through all the boards we can play here, I'll uh, go over all these other modes at the end of the project, so let's go ahead and get started. Players travel together on an adventure to retrieve as many mini stars as possible. Earn the most mini stars to become the superstar. Okay, sounds cool. Number of players, of course, we're playing with one player, because like we all know, I have no friends. And, uh... Oh, we actually have a choice between uh, how many com players we want to play with. Three, two, or one. Well, because I like uh, pretending that I have friends, so uh, let's go ahead and go with uh, three. And we're going to keep it like this for the rest of the playthrough, too. So that seems natural, so why change that? As for our roster, here it is. It features the uh, seven original N64 generation characters, sans Donkey Kong, but they kicked him out after four. Uh, we have Birdo and Toad from the GameCube generation, and new to the Mario Party 9 roster is Koopa Troopa, Shy Guy, and Magic Koopa. I have no idea what they did with uh, Toadette, Drybones, Hammerbro, and Blooper, but I guess they decided that they weren't proper for this game anymore. Oh, and Boo as well. They also kicked out Boo. So yeah, the roster is definitely a lot smaller, but that's okay. Um, for the first board, I always use Toad, and it's going to be very appropriate because of the first board too. So we're going to go ahead and pick Toad. And we'll also try to pick a character from each generation. So let's pick uh, Koopa Troopa. Uh, I guess Birdo, since she's the only character from the... Um, GameCube generation left. And as for the other characters, well, it wouldn't be a Mario Party board playthrough without our good friend Peach. So, uh, let's go ahead and add her. Why not? I'm feeling mighty destructive today, so why not? Uh, here are the boards we have to pick. We have Toad Road, Bomb Bomb Factory, Boo's Horror Castle, Blooper Beach, Magma Mine, Bowser Station, and the secret board... DK's Jungle Ruins. I should also mention that Shy Guy and uh, Magic Koopa are hidden characters you have to unlock as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to go through all of these, but we're going to start with Toad Road. Uh, calm difficulty, we're just going to keep them on hard mode. That seems uh, very standard and, you know, it's tolerable, so why not? Uh, we're not going to set a handicap, uh, mini game types, we'll have them all, bonus stars, on, guide messages, and we'll go ahead and lead those off. They give enough uh, hints and messages throughout the playthrough anyway, so, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to start, so let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, I know what you guys are thinking, uh, you guys are ready for this, you're ready for me to play some mini games, collect some stars, and uh, become the superstar. Welcome to Mario Party 9. I should also mention that the mechanics for Mario Party 9 have changed very, very fundamentally. In fact, all the stuff we know and love about Mario Party kind of thrown out the window in this game. I'll go over why and my opinions of these change after we uh, learn about this board and take our dice roll, so let's go ahead and do that first. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and learn about Toad Road here. In Toad Road, you have to travel the grassy hills, picking up mini stars as you make your way toward the goal. You'll find mini stars scattered along the path. You will also find them above the clouds at the top of the vine. Try to collect as many mini stars as you can. 
But be careful, one of Bowser's minions is guarding the mini stars beyond the Bowser gates. And that's not all. Another one of Bowser's minions is guarding mini stars in that fort. First, let's decide the turn order. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. First of all, dice blocks no longer go to 10. They go to 6, like a normal dice block would. Which uh, destroys the paradox of how there could be a 10-sided cube, but I'm not going to get into specifics right now. Yes. And, uh-oh, looks like Peach is going to go first, then me, then Koopa, then Birdo. So, let's go ahead and get into these uh, fundamental changes I spoke of. As you guys know, in Mario Party, uh, at least in all the previous Mario Party games, you move around the board at your own leisure. You have to uh, battle the other players to uh, get to the star, and throughout the board you collect stars and coins. Not so much in this game. In this game, the board is a linear map to the end, and every turn, a different player will roll the die, and they get the benefits of the space you land on and any mini stars you collect throughout the stage. So basically you want to be captain for all the good stuff and you don't want to be captain for all the bad stuff. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the route just to show this. Yeah, this is basically how it goes. It's a linear path. That's basically all it is. And it goes all the way to the end too. So yeah, as you can see, this has changed a lot, and unlike the old Mario Party games, there's no end of turn minigame. To get minigames, you have to land on minigame spaces. I, however, just landed on a lucky space. Lucky spaces are small events where you can uh, gain mini stars. There are also unlucky events where you can lose mini mini stars, so keep that in mind. Okay, for this one, hit the dice walk, and the number of mini stars shown in the space you land on is what you'll get, so... Let's roll high. That's not high. That's extremely, extremely low. Wow. Okay, that sucks. But oh well, we're still in the lead. We're still in the lead, and we'll keep that lead for right now. So yeah, like I said, in order to play minigames, you actually have to land on minigame spaces, or get lucky enough to find one in a random event. Which is okay, you'll still see a lot of minigames in general, but not as much as you would in other Mario Party games, that's for sure. But yeah, that's basically how this game works. It changed the mechanics up a lot, and uh... This game was heavily criticized for uh, changing the mechanics so much, but in all honesty, I actually like the changes. Um, I don't feel like this should be a uh, common theme for the rest of the Mario Party games, but I do like how they kind of tried to mix it up a little bit and try something new. I think all the changes are honestly not that terrible. They're fine. It's just a different game. You can't really look at it as Mario Party, because it's, well, not really Mario Party anymore. It's a game unique to itself. Okay, well, no matter what, I'm going to land on a green space, which doesn't do anything to me, honestly. So, let's go over here so we can uh, maybe push Koopa into grabbing those purple stars. Uh, the purple stars basically subtract the amount of mini stars that you have, so you want to try to avoid those. But we're going to play our first minigame first. And this kind of takes the uh, Wii Party approach to uh, rewards for minigames. It's not just like one player wins everything. No, you get rewarded if you come in second or third or even fourth. You get rewarded for just playing the minigame. So kind of an interesting way to handle things. But again, I don't mind too much. So let's go ahead and play Sky Jinx, our first minigame. Let's see here. Make your way across the floating platforms toward the goal. If you fall, you'll lose a heart. If you have any hearts remaining, you'll return to the platform. Okay. So this is a traditional platforming style game. Alright, let's do this. Toad, you've been in platforming games before. Surely you can do this. I know Peach has too, but... Oh god. Koopa, why did you do that to me? You're a jerk. Oh god, this is not good. 
Um, I am about to die. Wow, I didn't think I'd be doing this badly, honestly. But it's okay, we can manage, surely. This isn't too bad. I think I got this. Aha, take that, guys. I may have fallen twice, but I still won. So, for winning that game, I get five mini-stars, but... Eh, didn't give me too much of a lead. I still have Koopa right behind me, so... I'm gonna want to make that lead bigger as soon as possible. This really sounds like Super Mario Sunshine music. Oh wow, Birdo got a special dice block and this one basically works like the uh, old Mario Party dice block. You actually can roll up to 10 whenever you use it. But there is still something in the box. Oh, one mini star, wow. That's going to give a Birdo a huge lead in last place. Kind of. Oh well. It's not important. Okay, it looks like, uh. Yeah, Peach is gonna have one of these random events. I think she got the better one, too. No, she didn't. Okay. Well, that's good at least. She did get a 5, though, which kinda sucks. Oh, Peach, looks like you and me are going to be rivals again. And after I sang you that lovely song I didn't mean on April Fool's Day. Okay, um, let's see. I also like how you can see, like, the choices of what spaces you can land on. I think that's a nice touch. I mean, you could obviously count, but still. It's nice to have that, I guess. Oh, and I get another lucky space. Sweet. Uh, for this one, I believe it's actually a card memorization game. So we can actually, uh, yeah, pick an item. I wasn't really paying attention, unfortunately. Oh, oh well. I got a dice block that can either go one space or zero spaces. Which can actually help me, believe it or not. You would think that'd be a very useless item, but... There are scenarios in this game where you want to only move one space, or sometimes even zero spaces, and not move at all. Okay, the purple block is a four through six die. Those are also nice to have if you need to move far. But for now, we have another minigame. Okay, Magma Mayhem. Keep your balance on the tilting platform while trying to knock any other players off. Be the last player on the platform to win. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, control's not too hard. Another thing I really like about this game is how they kind of kept the controls very simple for the minigames. I feel like in Mario Party 8, you could never memorize, like, how you had to hold the controller or the Wiimote, rather, to control those minigames. You had to always look at the explanation screen before you did, otherwise you would be completely lost. In this game, they kind of give you a lot of simplicity when it comes to the controls, which I really like. Okay, let's see here. Birdo's not going to use that dice block yet, which is actually a good move. She can probably save it for later when it really matters. Oh, and we have another minigame. Okay, we're playing a lot of minigames here, which is nice, because... Like I said, you'll see a bunch of minigames no matter what, because it is Mario Party, but... I don't know, it's nice that they actually hand them out a lot, just so you can keep that aspect of the game in mind, because I feel like they lessen that... or the importance of minigames a lot in this game. Okay, 10 to win. Players choose a panel and watch as the number on the back boosts them... Another player or everybody. Be the first player to raise your platform to 10 to win. Okay, this is a luck-based minigame, which is 
not my cup of tea, but we'll go for it. You can try your best to memorize where all the cards are, but it doesn't help. It really doesn't. Okay, it looks like Koopa gets to go first. Start. Let's see here. Ooh, all of his rivals go up two spaces, which I like. Okay, we're off to a good start here. Oh, everybody in first goes up one. That's nice. Everybody goes up one. Now would be a really good time for me to get the U move up this many spaces, but hopefully I don't jinx that. Okay, that works. That's fine with me. Koopa, let's get another Rivals one. Why not? Okay, that works. Oh, looks like Birdo's gonna take the lead. That's not good. We need to stop Birdo, Peach. Oh god, it's really close. Really, really close. I'm gonna need to get really lucky here and get the U plus two one. No! Dang it! Oh, that sucks. Wait, why does Peach get first two? She was the second one to make it. I mean, I know they arrived in the same turn, but still. Like, I think that that would still apply, but... Well, Birdo made it first. Oh, well, whatever. It's Peach. She's destined to screw me over. Well, here, take that. You deserve that. Okay, spin! Okay. That's fine with me. I didn't really want to use my special dice block anyway. Because, as you can see, we have the fortress coming up. And for fortresses and the ending of the board, you really, really want to be the captain because you'll have a huge advantage for the boss fight minigame. And yes, I'm not joking. There are boss fight minigames where you challenge one of Bowser's minions to a minigame, and you have to beat them, and whoever performs the best will get the most mini stars. And if you're the captain, you get a boost of mini stars regardless, so it's always good to be the captain. Okay, bwahaha, so you made it this far, Captain Toad. But do you really think you can defeat Dad's minion guarding the fort? Tell you what, since you're going to fail anyway, I'll even let you pick your opponent. Well, how sweet of you. Um, let's pick, uh... I uh, normally you're supposed to fight Lakitu on this board if you play solo mode, so... Let's go ahead and fight Lakitu here. This is probably my favorite of all the, uh... Of the ones that were given to me anyway. Alright, let's do this. Punch the blocks when bullet bills appear on them to launch attacks on Lakitu. The more bullet bills on the block, the bigger the attack. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay, Lakitu, you're going down. Downtown. Okay. So yeah, you want to go for three Lakitus here, obviously. Dang it. And of course, you want to look out for all the uh, spinies that are hovering around the map. Okay, this is going pretty good so far.
Alright! And I also landed the final attack, too, so, uh... You get three points for landing the final attack. So, yeah, I did pretty well. Pretty good for a, uh... First boss minigame. Plus, I get a few more stars for being the captain, too, so that's nice. Definitely going to take a huge lead with that, but the game is definitely not over yet. This is Mario Party, so there are still random bouts of luck that can always affect my progress. So we're definitely not going to celebrate yet.